In case of a confounding variable, which type of association is between a disease and a factor? The options are direct, indirect, temporal and spurious. Question, in case of a confounding variable, which type of association is seen? So, before coming to this question, now let us learn the type of uh, association because every exam we tend to see many questions on this association type. It is a causal, uh, we have different types of association, right? Types of association, mainly it is of three types. One is your spurious, indirect and third is your direct. Indirect you have two types. One is one to one causal relationship and your second one is your multifactorial causal relationship. Okay. So basically you have to understand that spurious, direct and indirect. Okay. Now coming, oh, let us learn one by one. Your spurious means false. Okay. Spurious is simply false. False association. Some, sometimes your observed associations between a suspected factor and your disease will not be real. Uh, so, this fallacy, fallacy of your presumption arises when they are, they are compared inappropriately. Like say, uh, for an example, if we compare your, uh, your maternity age, mortality, natal mortality, we, we are comparing it to our hospital and home deliveries which is not at all real, okay. Some patients will prefer, it, it is the older times that what I am saying. A uh, study was conducted, see, they are conducting a study between a births at home and births in hospital. Apparently, your perinatal mortality was higher in hospital births than in home birth. It may be, like how it may be concluded that home deliveries are much safer than the hospital deliveries. Such a conclusion, right? Your, I'm I'm just writing your examples. Perinatal mortality. Just remember the few examples so that in exam, if they ask any similar examples or very related uh, examples, you can you can give it. So such a conclusion in spurious uh, because in general because hospital attracts women at a higher risk of for delivery because of a special equipments and expertise. But can, can that opinion be taken nowadays? No, home deliveries are not much safer because we never know what are the consequences of your home delivery, right? So, this is only a spurious or false uh, association. What is this indirect association? Okay, this indirect association is a statistical relationship or statistical association between a characteristic of an interest and disease due to a presence of a confounding variable. Okay, you have some confounding variable. Okay, uh, I will just uh, write it. See, cause. Okay, cause is an independent variable. Okay, cause leads to effect. It is your dependent variable. Dependent variable. But cause leading to effect in between you have other factor. That is your confounding variable. This is your indirect association, right? Your, uh, let me give you one example. Uh, there was, uh, in case of uh, goiter, iodine deficiency in case of goiter, that is one example. And uh, see, your altitude leading to endemic goiter. What is your confounding variable? Will be your iodine deficiency, right? And uh, that is your best example. Uh, one more uh, thing is your uh, heart attack. Incidence of, uh, okay, lifestyle changes leading to uh, CHD or chronic heart disease or chronic vascular disease, smoking, that is also your indirect association. It can be direct also, but 
if you quote your lifestyle changes it can include many and one such is your confounding uh, variable smoking okay now what is your direct association we learn two types right one is your one to one uh, causal relationship and one is your uh, one is your multifactorial causes caution so what is this multi uh, one to one is if a is your cause it leads to effect b that is only simple one to one one to one okay what is your uh, multifactorial multifactorial you will have many reasons the best best example is your lifestyle cbd smoking that is your uh, lifestyle changes okay i'll quote this example lifestyle changes leading to your oral cancer oral cancer that is your best example so in these type of association questions you will uh, encounter one term called your temporal association right i just want to tell this because there have been questions in other exams where they are focusing mainly on this temporal relationship what is this temporal relationship your causal attribute must pre precede the disease or your favorable outcome which means you have to be exposed this before your disease right this is only temporal association like see if you have this asbestosis and silicosis no it takes 20 to 10 years to manifest your disease that is only your temporal relationship okay one more thing what you have to know in this association is your strength of association the strength is most important with increasing levels of exposure to a risk factor increase in the disease is also found right so this can be either calculated by your odds ratio odds ratio or your relative risk right so uh, now we study the types of association spurious indirect direct okay we have learned the examples also okay now coming back to the question in case of confounding variable which type of association is seen it's very obvious it is indirect what is indirect sometimes association at first appears to be causal but on further study it has found to be indirect your best example is your uh, high altitude goiter iodine deficiency goiter one more example what we have to quote in public health is your uh, water supply certain water supply uh, vibrio cholerae organism vibrio cholerae causing cholera that is also most uh, one of the famous examples of your indirect association i hope it is clear